When it's time to get that oil change, make sure you go to 70s Oil Exchange at 9601 East Jefferson. That's a half mile east of Belle Isle. Make sure you stop there, get your oil changed, get your, uh, your fluids filled, and get your tires rotated while you're there. Remember, every Wednesday, all oil changes are half off between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. That's 70s Oil Exchange at 9601 East Jefferson in Detroit. Your car will thank you. Hey, uh, I want to thank you for waking up with Steve Hood. If you like what you hear today, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you can know when we're coming out with brand new stuff. Yeah, just rolling through the east side, thinking about uh, land speculation, property speculation, and thinking about Officer Bastwick. This 27-year-old rookie gets on Snapchat and says, another night to wrangle up these animals. You know, we looked at all the news. I want to credit John Bennett for putting that out there, um, you know, discovering it and posting it and blasting it out there. It went as far as Kansas City. Kansas City is talking about Detroit and what we're hiring. You know, the chief, uh, he fired the guy right away. He was a rookie, 27 years old. He's out of the 12th precinct. First of all, how can you call anything in the 12th precinct? I mean, where the 12th precinct is, is actually sitting across from the wealthiest area in Detroit, which is Palmer Woods, which is crazy. Okay, you should have called them a bunch of animals. Lovely. But here's my other issue. With a majority Caucasian recruiting class, the last sets of classes have been majority Caucasian, how do we know that Bostwick's feelings aren't, uh, look at all this land, Bostwick's feelings aren't shared by many of his Caucasian counterparts in the class? How do we know this? How do we know what's really being taught in the Detroit Police Academy to these new young Caucasian officers. I think Chief Craig has got to have another look at that. He's got to have another look at that. I mean, because crime is rampant here in Detroit, which we're gonna discuss in a second. And if you don't have people that actually believe in the citizens of Detroit, you've got a bigger problem than you already have with just the crime rate. There and say, Steve Hood, you're nuts. The FBI says the murder rate has gone down. It went down from 303, 303 murders in 2016 to uh, 267 murders in 2017. You know, oh joy, oh joy. But the problem, the other problem is that overall violent crime increased. Oh, overall violent crime increased, ladies and gentlemen. So how can you have somebody you know, that's running our streets, that's, that, that's supposed to protect us, thinking of us as animals? That's the first question. The second question is, how safe is Detroit really? Well, it isn't. Last year, we were number one in violent crime. Uh, now, this year, we're number two. Whoopee, we've, we've gone down. St. Louis is now more dangerous than we are, but we're still far too dangerous. And as a testament to how dangerous we are as a city, do you realize that at least two of our city council people live in private gated communities within the city? Not like me and you. We just live out in the city. Do you realize our police chief actually lives in a gated community? You know it's dangerous when the chief of police has to live behind a fence. Come on now. We can do better than all of this. But we can't do better with officers like Bostwick on the force. And how many are, are there? How many of these rookies are like that? Brand new, brand new recruit. That's a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, stay woke. And uh, with all that crime rate, maybe it's time to arm yourselves. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button.